Hey guys, what is up? This is the Gast the Gengar, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac. Now, last time we left off, we got our ass kicked in a 26-minute run, and again, I'm sorry for leaving you with such a short episode that time. Uh, I'm not sure if today is going to be the same, because I got really, really procrastinate. Procrastinate? I think the, I think the proper word would be procrastinate. And I waited till Thursday to record this, which means I only have three day, four days to, to edit and process and get these out. So hopefully that's not going to take way too long, but I'm going to try my best to give you guys some legit runs. Uh, last time we fucked up an Isaac run, I believe, and we're going to try another Isaac run this episode. Uh, if we fail at like 15 minutes, we'll go again, but if it starts reaching around 30 minutes, I don't think we'll be... Uh, I don't... If it starts hitting like 30 minutes, I don't think we'll hit another run because this can go on forever. Also, I don't know how I feel about this charge shot. I've never seen this item before. So another reason I didn't record earlier is because I've been having some issues with my computer. Uh, I was planning on... Uh, at this point, I should really just try getting a new computer. And it's not really in the cards because computers are expensive. But basically what happened was I was trying to do another drawing thing. Uh... But for some reason, my computer just didn't want to, it just didn't say that my computer had any of the drivers installed for my tablet, which I know is fucking bullshit, because I was literally practicing with it five days prior. So I, I basically been fighting with my computer over that. And then, I, last night, I was going to do this yesterday, but my headset decided that, uh, hey... What if we don't work? And I was like, well, that, that kind of suck. And it's like, ha, huh, well, guess what? We don't work. And, I mean, it's working now, but it was like, I would plug it in and, like, my headset's power would go on. Like, all the, like, the lights on the side and the little microphone thing would go on. It's just that, like, it wasn't registering as an audio device. It just registered as some unknown USB device, which sucked. So I eventually got that to work, and instead of recording whatever, because I I, uh, I just decided to sit down or whatever and just watch some One Piece and Common Rider with Lord Chuckleton, which was amazing. Also, I feel like there's a bit of slowdown, either that or this dude just naturally jumps really slowly. I don't know. Like, I feel like Isaac's running at normal speed. Wait, does Cursed Eye, don't tell me Cursed Eye makes it so we teleport back to spawn or a random room. Oh shit, I think it is. Oh well, we committed. Well, I committed. So I did get this to work and now I'm doing recording as I can, so I want to say that next week or maybe the week after, there might not be Isaac episodes. Fuck. There might not be any Isaac episodes. Uh, I'm attempting to work on other series. Serieses. Some other series. And it's going to take some attention because I'm going to need to spend a lot of time working on layouts and stuff. And not to mention... Both of these ideas kind of involve Lord Chuckleton and Mikey282, so I need to work with them to schedule some stuff. This is probably the first, if they ever watch, I know Lord Chuckleton watches, but it's probably the first they're ever hearing about it, but we, we plan on doing like races and soul links, and we just kind of never touched on that subject. I want to do a race, but at the same time, Lord Chuckleton hasn't been practicing on the game we want, and it's kind of unfair because, alright, we're just going to restart this run. Um, it's kind of unfair because it's a game that I, I've played since my childhood and he hasn't, like, he's barely played at all. So it's, it's just kind of difficult overall. And I, I kept telling him to practice and he was like, yeah, I will, and then never did. 
So I, I feel like if we start it now, it'll just be a complete just mow down. And for the soul link, I would just need to figure out when I could do such a thing because that would involve me having to stream more footage to Mikey282. And the whole setup of him sending me footage. Also, I really want that item. I don't know why. I think it's just like we just like goop behind us to slow enemies down, but I kind of want it because I do like slowing enemies down. Also, I see that legit rock over there. Ah, oh, shit. That was that was my fault because for some reason I'm an idiot and I'm having the fucking pop filter in my face. I don't know why. But yeah, hopefully we can get onto that. Because I know some of you at least might be missing some Pokemon episodes. Or just missing anything Pokemon in general since my channel name is The Ghastly Gengar and I would like to at least play some Pokemon. Um, there was something I was going to say. I was legit going to say something just now. Um, oh. So... Um, for those of you who don't know, I migrated this channel from an old channel that had a lot of subs. Well, not a, a, a decent amount of subs for just a rando, you know? And I don't know why, but I recently just checked in to see, like, how it was doing. I don't know why. I don't really care. But I started to care a little bit when I realized that, uh... I realized that my old channel now has 500 subs. And I kind of want to go on there and be like, what the hell are you people doing? Why are you subscribing? I'm literally not making videos on this channel any longer. What's your problem? Yeah, there's some slowdown going on. I don't know if it's just... Maybe... I don't know. I do know that this is not my best attempt at an episode. And these are not good weapons or bosses to be getting on the first floor. Maybe I shouldn't have gone to the Isaac room. Maybe I should have just... I, I don't know. Fuck. And we'll say that if we make it out of this, I'm definitely going to be going for those those hearts that are just laying around. Because this uh, this attack th all right. First off, this attack drone fly thing it's 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 kind of garbage. Like maybe it's just too close to me to actually like make use of it. And fuck. And we're gonna go for a third. I guess it should be technically a third run. And we have lost lost this hard. I mean, he's on. But hopefully we can get this channel going at full speed again. I kind of miss doing the five days a week upload schedule. I wouldn't even. I would. I wouldn't even mind like going back to three days a week and having it on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and having Thursdays and Tuesdays go to Finding of Isaac. I feel like that would be a nice. A, a nice little switch up. I also hate how it, when I play, pr I don't practice Finding of Isaac. So whenever I pick the game back up, it's just weird because it feels like I haven't played it in so long, but it's only been a week. But I feel like if I did practice it on my own time, I'd eventually get bored of the game, and I don't wanna, don't really wanna just get bored of it and just kind of be like, alright, I don't want to play Isaac anymore when I've already set up on showing this DLC out. So, again, I don't even know if my skill is good enough to show off this DLC. Because as soon as we got to the sewers, we we, we got real fucked up. And another bomb. Nice. And what is this? Pisces, tears up, knockback shot. I am okay with this. This is kind of items I would love to get on floor one. Have, ever, have you guys ever seen the, uh, the original, like, some of the Binding of Isaac advertisements? Like, they are real fucked up. Like, have, uh, there's one, I think, for Rebirth. And it's using, like, claymation 3D models. And it... 
or not even that, it like has latex puppets of Isaac, and it's just fucking disgusting. Like, it literally has, I think it's like a hose set up behind Isaac's eyes or something, going in the water's like flowing through his slit, and it's just like this latex puppet of Isaac just spewing water from his eyes at these weird decapitated enemy puppets, and it just looks fucking weird. Like, I thought the one where the grown dude was making pretend to be Isaac was fucked up. Well, not even fucked up, just flat out weird. I'm using that word a lot. But then again, this game is pretty fucking weird. How did this game get so much, like, momentum with all the, all the things it hints at? Like... Ooh, damage up. Yes. I just mean, like... The whole idea of killing your mother, going inside of her womb, facing Satan, uh, and then the gra like some of the images of like Isaac hanging himself and shit. Like, how how are people okay with this? This game has like a like a weird following, I guess you could say, for all of its fucked up like tones and shit. But I love it. I don't know why. It's a good game. And I don't even think it's like anything, you can get away with anything as long as it's made properly. I don't, I don't know. But I'm, I'm just gonna be, it feels like it's gonna start being like another one of those sessions where I mumble and ramble instead of actually talk about what the fuck I'm doing. Like, it's not me, there's slowdown, I swear. So, uh, recently a news article came out. I literally only saw it this morning. But it was basically about, uh, how the Day 1 update is now officially out for Nintendo Switch for anyone who has it, like, free, premature, pre whoever has it early, prematurely, what the fuck. And a lot of people are complaining, just flat out, that the Ninten because Nintendo's going with a... 12 digit code system again and I honestly saw no problem with 12 digit codes and now it's like everyone just like a lot of people came down like with a hammer on it and then there was even some people complaining about it not having achievements why why does it need achievements achievements do absolutely nothing for anyone why why do we, why do we need this to have achievements? Like, you know, achievements have no kind of standpoint on or impact on the game you complete. Like, it's just stupid. Like, I, I will say that there are some games that like the the achievements planted these ideas or that we could do something in our brains and we would try it. Like uh, Halo Reach, I think, if they came to hear me beg, is one of them. And that was basically had to fall off like a three-story cliff or something and do a special kill on an enemy. Which, I feel like if, uh, if the game's achievements never told us that, no one would ever try it. But at the same time, it's like, was it really necessary? Hold on. And we're back in, I don't know what happened, but it smells like something's burning. Or something was burning, I don't know. But, like, oh yeah, the achievements thing. Like, I would get it if achievements actually made an impact on, like, on what ha like, stuff you could do. Like, let's say, uh, if you beat a game, like, if on Steam, if you beat a game, like, 100% all of its achievements, you got, like, a sale or something, like, exclusive to people who did that. I'd be okay with that. Or, like... If it unlocks some kind of in-game weapon, or well, some games do that, but not all of them. Actually, a slim, a slim amount of games actually do this. But if you get a certain achievement, it unlocks like weapons or costumes for you. Like I'd be okay. But then there's just games where it's just achievements, just to have achievements. And like for people like the Completionist or Ger Gerard, uh, it's 
just kind of tedious because his job is to complete games and that sadly doesn't mean that he has to get all of the achievements. Also, I feel like this is going to be another failed run because of Bullet Trap. Uh, Bullet Trap. Float, fly, holy shit. Um, we, we did get a damage up, we also did get tears up. It's just a matter of fact of can we pull it off with my fucking shitty skills. Also, is this... Is this a regular Isaac enemy, or is this a anti-birth enemy? I also wanted to try playing some more Into the Gungeon, but I've been playing a lot of that on my free time, and the game is heavily skill-based, so I wanted to get good at it before I actually started recording more of it. And then we got a double room for some reason. And just pick this up, and we'll push Whirl Bomb. What the hell is this? Bleed me dry? I don't know what that is. I don't know why I got it. I thought that maybe since it said I needed three soul hearts that I could just grab it without actually having to pay the full price. And I keep hitting my mic, I'm sorry. Ow! Yeah, this, I, I think I uh, just fucked this run. Like maybe it's every floor it stabbed me for a heart and a half of damage. I don't know, but I don't like it. It hurt. That hurt. But it gives us a damage boost, and I'm kind of okay with that. At the same time, was it worth taking a heart and a half of damage? Okay, all right. Alright, so this episode ten turned out to be just a big ol' big ol' fuckaroo on me. So next time I think we're gonna do a Kane run because Kane is usually our lucky character other than um Eat Eat Eden Yeah, Eden or Azazel. So I hope you guys will forgive the excuse, uh, my horrible excuses and if I do not upload Isaac within the next week or two. And I will talk to you guys in the next episode so i hope you all have a great and wonderful day and until next time oh wait i forgot the whole like comment subscribe thing but anyway until next time bye bye